Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the journals related to mechanical engineering. So before proceeding, this is my channel that is Gomes Tech Talks. Here you can see various playlists and this is a playlist which is specifically for uh, journals that is SEI, Scopus, uh, Annexure 1, UGC CAD journals. You can find almost many journals which might not be repeated okay so these are all the journals which are uh, which i have already discussed so you can see this if you want it like if you if anything Im Im immediately if you want any journals to know you can just go and search it here or else you can also leave your comment okay so let us see the first journal which is applied mechanics review so let us copy this and paste it in the scopus this is the scopus this is Scopus website, so you can just go and check here Applied Mechanics. Sorry, Applied Mechanics Review. Okay, so you can see that it is there Applied Mechanics Review. So, why I am searching here is always please go and cross check okay now i'm telling it is not mandatory that even the next year this is 2022 it is not mandatory that even in the next year it will be there in the scopus okay it may be but anyhow it is better to check not even next year in the next month or uh, after like during december so anyhow it is better to check okay so here it is showing it is 2013 to present and this is related to mechanical engineering so if you click here source home page you can see that this is that journal okay so you can see all about the journal here okay so as i'm keep on telling that you have to see important things that is the first one is what uh, you are you have to go to the for authors you can check for the scope of the journal anyhow here it is shown complete clearly it is shown that it is for mechanical engineering so if they have given something here you can just go and search that is the scope of the journal the second one is what is the paper cost that is whether you have to pay something or you don't want to pay so if you go to the uh, information to the authors you can find the information about the paper cost you can search here fee if it is not showing like fee you can search for the charges okay so here you can click here for the publication charges and see whether there is any publication fee for that okay uh, so you can see once if you see a cost of dollar hundred per figure so you should not simply think that you have to pay okay you have to first completely read it okay so here you can see that uh, you can uh, understand there are no charges to submit and publish a standard research paper so anyhow there is no charges okay so authors authors are encouraged to prepare a concise uh, manuscript and that should be 6000 to 10000 words okay five to eight figures or tables okay so page charges do not apply to amr or review articles there is no page charges the following options include publication charges because anyhow if you want it to be in a color okay then you have to pay the fees but if, if you don't want to be in the color that is if you don't if your image no it, it uh, that is if your image does not require any color then you can directly publish it without any charge okay final typeset paper longer than the standard journal pages what is the journal uh, standard journal pages what six to eight okay so open access if you want it to be in open access and if you want it to be in the reprint okay so others will have the choice to select figures for color reproduction in the print edition so so if you if you don't want the color uh, for your figure then that is your images you can just simply leave it okay there is no charges and only if you wanted to print it in a color then you have to pay hundred dollar hundred per figure okay and uh, Excess page. If you are not opting for the color, it will be automatically converted into black and white. Okay. And excess page charges. For example, how many pages? So here they have kept it as a 12 printed journal pages. It is great. Usually 6 to 8 will be accepted. So here they are accepting still 12 pages. If your page is extending more than 12 pages, then definitely you have to pay $200 per page. Okay. And if it is an open access then you have to pay the money okay 
so no charge through uh, through june 30 that is as i told like you don't want to pay uh, uh, pay the money if your article is 12 pages that is 12 pages or less and if you don't want to opt for the color uh, colorful image okay and if you don't want to opt for the open access got it so this is fine right and you can go and check for the guidelines for non technical submission okay you can check for the um, paper templates so here you can just go and see journal guidelines and information for the author so you can find if you have any questions you can send your questions to this particular um, mail id and if you click here information you will get the templates okay so like uh, what what template what type of okay word template they have given a word template click here download it and then you can proceed so this is the uh, this is about the journal okay these are all the important important factor you have to check and other than that you have to check for the plagiarism okay that is for sure plagiarism screening so what is a plagiarism screening how many percentage of plagiarism they are expecting okay they will accept that is what the uh, thing okay so how much percentage they'll be accept uh, so that also you have to check okay so these are all the thing which you have to uh, just um, understand when before you submit your journal first one is scope of the journal second one is whether do you have any uh, charges and the third one is uh, what is the uh, that is what is the frequency they are accepting right so that is important one which we should uh, definitely look it for so let us check here um, here you can see if they haven't mentioned anything directly okay here about the journal if you click read more they might have mentioned somewhere okay they are also accepting the survey retrospective uh, reviews circular reviews research so of course mechanical related everything they are accepting okay and uh, submit your paper author resources okay these are all the thing if they haven't mentioned anything like um, bi-monthly or okay so what we have to do is we have to go and check the previous issues okay S click here issues so once if you click the issues you can see uh, all issues if possible if it is there archives it might be in the archives okay yeah all years you have so if you click here 2021 or 2020 you can see they are uh, issuing six issues per year okay So we'll go to the next journal, which is um, the International Journal of Robotics Research. Okay, if you copy this, if you copy and paste it here, that is, we are we wanted to check right whether it is uh, still there in Scopus or not. Okay, so let us check here. Okay, this is International Journal of Robotics Research. Okay, so International Journal of Robotics. So it is still there in Scopus, and you can see that here they are uh, they are covering mechanical engineering, artificial intelligence, computer science, computer science software, mathematics, applied mathematics, mathematics modeling and simulation, engineering. So if you click here source homepage, so this is a Sage publication, and if you want to know more about it, you can just scroll down and see. And uh, if you click. You can see that this is the home page okay so first let us see what is the frequency of the journal if you click all issues you can see like how many issues that is archives okay this is the easiest trick to know like how many issues they are publishing um, per year if they haven't mentioned anything specifically so here you can see that uh, this is to 2021 uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen okay these are all specialist issues i think so nearly 14 issues they are uh, doing so it's great 
you can see of course everywhere they are just issuing 14 issues per year okay great it is it is really great and let us go and check for the aim and scope of course we have checked in the scopus home page itself so it is no need to again just to cross check okay they are covering all these mechanical engineering computer science everything okay and if you just go to the submission guidelines if you click on the submission guidelines you can see that there are no fee payable to submit or publish in this journal so you don't want to pay any fee here okay so other than that you can just go and check for what is the format you have to follow and what are the funding uh, opportunities they are providing how do you have to um, ensure your plagiarism in your paper and copyright issues everything of course in almost all the journal you, they'll be giving you the contact information if you have any other further uh, uh, doubts you can just go ahead and discuss with them any doubts related to research or if you have any doubt related to your journal please post it i am getting many messages related to journals research and few has asked for how to submit the form for sage because since i'm uh, getting more comments so it will take at least two to three days to um, publish such related uh, videos so i'll be responding immediately but anyhow to uh, know to uh, to just go and ch uh, check that particular website and to uh, publish that it will take some time at least two days of time so please wait and thank you for your patience and your comments so we'll meet you with an another uh, set of journals and also other information regarding the research in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.